When you've chosen which colour scheme you want to use, you can apply gradients to objects on your page. This will make the objects stand out and also adds a professional touch to your publication. In this video, I'll show you how to apply automatic gradients to objects on your page that use scheme colours. In PagePlusX7, automatic gradients are dynamic. This means that colours are not fixed to the gradient. So, the colour or scheme colour that is currently applied to an object is honoured. Let's look at this in action. To demonstrate this concept, I'll use one of the professionally designed templates included with PagePlus. If you want to follow along with this video, you can open the template for yourself. From the Startup Assistant, click Templates and then click Posters. Select which size you want. I'll select A3 and then choose a poster from the pane on the right. Select which design you want to use and click OK. The poster will be displayed in the workspace. If this is the first time you've created a publication from a design template, you may be prompted to update your user details. We'll leave this for now, so I'll just click Close. All objects in this template are colour schemed, but for the purposes of this video, we'll concentrate on this quick shape on the right. Select it to get started. These buttons below indicate that the object is on a master page. Objects on master pages will appear on multiple pages of the publication. Click Edit on master page below the object to quickly access the master page. OK, first we'll change the colour of this shape. On the Swatches tab, click the down arrow next to Publication Palette and select Scheme Colours. All of the colours included in the current colour scheme for this publication are displayed. With your object selected, choose a different scheme colour. If you don't like a particular template's colour scheme, you can quickly change it. We'll do this from the Schemes tab at the bottom right of the workspace. Click on the Schemes tab and then choose a different colour scheme from the list. The three dedicated colour schemes for this template will be at the top of the list. All schemed objects on your page will update to reflect the changes. Now we've chosen a colour scheme, let's look at applying automatic gradients. On the Swatches tab, click the down arrow next to Gradient and select Automatic. A variety of gradients will be displayed. Select one of these gradients to apply it to the select object. As you can see, the automatic gradients use the colour currently applied to the object as the start colour or base colour. If it's a schemed colour that is applied, the schemed colour is used as the base. We can see this in action on the Schemes tab. Select a different colour scheme and watch the object update. As you can see, the gradient is honoured even when the colour of the object changes. And if I select a different gradient on the Swatches tab, the colour will remain the same, even though the gradient changes. All gradients have two colours, a start and an end colour. By default, the end colour for the automatic gradients is usually black or white. You can modify the object's gradient even further by substituting the end colour with another scheme colour. This will make the gradient even more dynamic. On the Attributes toolbar on the left, select the Fill tool. On the Context toolbar, the Start and End colours will be displayed. Click the down arrow next to End colour. At first glance, there appears to be lots of colours. In fact, these are just five of the scheme colours which have various tints applied to them. Hover over a colour to see which scheme colour it is and what tint has been applied. If you select a tinted scheme colour, it will update in the same way as standard schemed colours, but the applied tint will also remain. Feel free to update the start colour to make the gradient more prominent if you need to. To see the effects of the updated gradient, select a different colour scheme on the Schemes tab. Whichever scheme you choose, 
the corresponding numbered scheme colours will be used for the start and end colours of the gradient. You can select a different automatic gradient on the swatches tab at any time. The gradients will automatically update to take into account the two scheme colours that have been set. Finally, double click your poster on the pages tab to return to the main page. And that's it. To find out more about PagePlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.